Firstly, let's show you the input port of a VP210 controller. It supports a USB input for directly playing video or picture, and the HDMI, HDMI video, and the CDPS from camera or TV box, and the VGA and the DVI input for video, and it also supports a audio in and output. And this this USB is to configure the LED disc receiver with your computer. And it's also with Wi-Fi port for mobile application control. For output, VV210 with 2 gigabit Ethernet output port, receiver and our LED modules. This LED wall with two LED cabinet. Each cabinet with one L one receiver. And uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, five lights of LED modules. Four light one. Each, each LED module connects with a light cable one by one. And for the first for the first LED module, we use long cable to connect with the first output of the LED receiver. And then the second the second port of the LED receiver connects with the second line of the LED module. Then port one, port three, two light three, port four, two light four. So each port to one line of the cabinet. And each receiver with two gigabit Ethernet port. One port with a LAN cable connect connect with another receiver. And the first uh, first, uh, first receiver is connected with one cable connect with our VP210. We can we first use the output connect with uh, the first uh, output port of VP210, and we connect the power cable of VP210. We use the HDMI cable to connect the input port of VP210 and another side connect with our computer. Our computer and the VP210. This cable is we use to configure the VP210 through our computer. Next, we power on VP210 and the, also the LED screen. Now, as you can see, the display the display of the LED screen is not is not right because we did not configure the LED screen. Now we need to use the HDSet software to configure the LED receiver and also the VP210. Firstly, we click to we double click to open the HDSet software and choose VP VP210 and click screen configura configuration. Firstly, we need to click the receiving card parameters. We can we can loading the configuration file from the load file we, we, we are including in the software. We can all we can do smart setting to configure the LED modules. We choose the module width and choose Java IC and the decoding chip. Next, choose the color of the LED screen. Next, choose how many lines on, on one module. Follow the flash, mo flash pointer on the LED modules and also clean the diagram. Look at the screen. The flash pointer also is moving. It go, goes to line one, so we also Come to light one. Let's click one by one to light home the whole modules. Finish smart setting. Now we need to do the display con connection setting. We have two card connect with port one. The resolution of one cabinet is one 160 pixel by 160 pixel. And the first receiver is on the right when we view from the front side. So the first first receiver is on the right, right side. Now you can see the display is right now. Now we need to 
adjust the re refrigerator. Rate. To make uh, the LED wall performance better. Now, the configuration of the LED screen is finished. And uh, my desktop is uh, synchronous with uh, the LED screen. But as you can see, only part of my desktop is showing on the display. If we need to choose the full desktop, we need to clean the button on the VP210 front panel. We need to clean the scaler. Then the desktop will zoom in. We connect with a different video, like DVI, DVI VGA. We can click uh, the corresponding button to switch different video resource. We can switch to DVI, VGA, CVBS, or USB. Let's, let's show you how to use our HD show player to play live video. First, let's double click to open HD software. This is our few professional player for live video. We create a new project and uh, click to add a resource field like video and put the video on the screen. We can add more resources like a uh, clock, countdown, and a digital clock, and a playlist, also network media, a website. That's all. Thank you.